Greetings, Night City. And welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm Cobalt Thorium. What the hell? Why are you walking into me, bud? Ooh, what is this? Finding needles and stuff on the street. It's great. What is, what is, what is going on with you? What's wrong with you? Alright, whatever. Um, so let's bring our car over here. And then we'll head over to try and do this uh, Happy Together quest. Uh, this is the one of with Barry, who's my neighbor, apparently. He's all shook up because he saw a kid die and then apparently I would say his mentor also passed away of natural causes he said. And what is natural causes in Night City? Right. So he's all shook up about his mentor whose name is Andrew. And we're going to try and find the stash. Maybe that'll um, get him out, of, get Barry out of his depression. That's sort of the idea. Okay, we have a Quadra Turbo for sale. Wonderful. We don't want to go there. Message go away. Whoa. Stop like that, dude. Ooh, that glare. Holy crap. Where am I even going? This looks like a one way street. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> Why is the map taking me this way when this is a one-way street? Oh, it's a... I mean, it's a roundabout, but... Or a... Come on, dude. Stop being a punk. I'm gonna pass you. It's all roundabouts here, rotaries, or whatever you call them in your local area. What is this? Why would I do that? They had like a little wiggle. What's going on here? That biochip. Well, I've heard of better business decisions. You, Mike? Yep, me. Like marrying my sister. Financially, much better move than yours with those shares. Touche. Anyway, think you'll pick one up once they release it? Huh? Oh, the biochip? Nah. North Oak's already big enough for my ego. Hmm. Okay. What? You is that not a good place to park? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Okay, I will park up on the sidewalk then. Shut up. There we go. That's a good place, right? Alright, let's go in. What is this place? The Columbarium. But why? Why can't I talk to her? Because mom got really sick and had to leave. But I know she's watching you from on high and that she loves you very much. Preston says that his dad died and he can still see him and talk to him whenever he wants. Because Preston's dad... 
he didn't go to heaven, like your mom. Preston says his dad is in an even better place than heaven. He's at Arasaka. <sighs> Sweetie. And he said if we had more money, then mom could also be at Arasaka instead of in heaven. And then we could go and see her together every day. Honey, I'm sorry. Well, this uh, relic chip really um, complicates things, apparently. So this. So this is like a mausoleum of some kind, or crypt. Well, we probably shouldn't spend too much time here. From the look of it, we're probably going to be back here at some point. Um, I kind of get the feeling like this might be a regular location for somebody whose business and trade is death. Which, you know, that's kind of what V's forte is. Doing all of our crimes and with all of our... Gangs, fighting gangs, doing all that. As I steal other people's offerings from there. Uh, from the eternal resting places of their loved ones. Because that's what, you know, good people do. What is this? Tarot card temperance resembles a major uh, arcana tarot card temperance. I take it I'm still looking around here for this niche, though. Looks like it said 10 meters here. Where is it? Something has a scan for, maybe? Hmm. It's not in there. It does not, not appear to be in New here. face? You're not from round here. That doesn't look like it. This is going outside of bounds. Places to search here. Oh, no. Mm. Okay, so I didn't go. It's not in that row. Was this Don Russell? His friendship was an inspiration. His love a blessing. Okay, so maybe I have to scan these these things. Here we go. In loving memory of my best friend Andrew, you are a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when Grammy explained. Wait. You were with me when Grammy explained what was right. You are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. Well, I feel kind of bad about how we dismissed him last time, so I'm going to do this one. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. 
His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get back to them. Hopefully, Barry hasn't done anything drastic. In the meantime, I'm going to save really quick so that I can drive really fast and not have to worry about the consequences. <laughs> At least this time the rotaries will be on our side. Well, how annoying must this game be if you're like a Brit and everybody's driving on the wrong side of the road. And all the rotaries are backwards. <laughs> you like barely nudge them into another car and they like explode with like debris. This one? Stop beeping. I didn't touch you. I'm not supposed to go this way? <laughs> it's not. Oh, I can't I can't just go off the side, huh? It's unfortunate. I figured if I hit it with enough velocity I could probably get over that. <laughs> but it turns out not so much. I'll have to go this way. Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> A motorcycle just flying out of nowhere hits my car. Whoa! like my normal GPS. <laughs> it just... It'll get you there. But you'll wonder how you got how you got there. It's like, why am I back on the highway after doing that weird detour? Like, maybe keep me on the highways until the end. Stupid thing. further is this? 175 meters. Alright. Oh, we're getting close, man. Yeah, you need that street side. Very informative. What is happening? This stuff just like exploding. Alright. Let's go save Barry. Yeah, come on. Alright, let me quickly save. Oh, yes, I can't. I wanted to save before I said something to Barry. That, that would be disastrous. Like last time, that was a horrible pick. Welcome to N54 News. I really should have, um, I don't know, saved before going in there. Knowing that he was sort of on uh, thin ice when it comes to his mental state. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high magnitude earthquake. Hmm. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation, I didn't know plans, about that. The 
let's do that save here. 25 meters away. Far enough away that it's not going to trigger any uh, interactions quite yet. But. But cry out loud, Mendez. Got another dry, sun filled week coming hey, your way, so nice What exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about it. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Uh, I visited Andrew's grave. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Uh, right, because I love to bullshit badges. Uh, let's try it. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men doesn't react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, but he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Well, that's nice of you. When danger lurks, Trump will be there. Sign up for Got some experience. Got some street cred, almost at next level. Nine nine. What happens now? I already told you. You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt green with this funny yellow cat <laughs> get in oh no okay I guess I can't go in huh well at least that seems to be I mean it's not a happy ending but it's not a tragic ending so that's pretty good I feel good about that What's your quest. Problem? That's the kind of quest we need in this game. The worst thing is about this place. The crowds? No. The fucking smell. True. Sweet it is not. <laughs> Chum, you could boil shit in piss and it still smell better than this fucking dump. It blows. There's a war coming. I know it. Really? What kind of war? What are you talking about here? You ask me, your word's worth more than any eddies. Ah, oh, you just say that because you ain't got no eddies. Neither do you. True. Yes. But I ain't the one spouting no feel good bullshit. Whoa, that guy's huge. Alright. Do I know you? No. All right, well, I suppose that'll wrap up this episode. I mean, we finished our our quest. Um, uh, hey, V. Oh, what is about this? About to start. You, uh, you gonna take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Well, maybe we'll give this a try in a second since we're already here. Um, but I'm gonna wrap up this episode right now. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, uh, please leave a like and maybe a subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.